Yes. Indeed. What's going on, guys? I'm Marshner9. Today I'm bringing you some Dark Souls 3 gameplay. I'm making a new character. We're gonna name it the Martian. And we're gonna name it uh, Vaughn. There we go. We're gonna be a uh, pyromancer. So I feel like it. We're gonna be a fire gem. Do my sword. I care like care less. Uh, burly. I really care less. Uh, yeah. I'll still be doing Dark Souls 2 videos. Uh, my series is still being uploaded. I have some editing to do to finish it all up, but that should be uploaded by in a month or two. So, in this video, I'll be talking about the best class, my personal opinion, of course, but that's what the discussion is going to be today. Uh, there's a lot of good classes in this game, all of them are viable options. I mean, as you see in this video, we're playing as a pyromancer, so you'll see why. Uh, hit them. Look at that damage. I learned some damage to begin the game. Let's go. Uh, we'll hit this first before we go exploring. So this game's actually really good. I'm three fourths away done with it. On well, my uh, sorcerer build. I say a pyromancer is probably the best best uh, class you can pick though. If you research it, a lot of the other YouTubers say the same thing. Oh, we'll give me a pain so good. The reason I say this though is mainly because uh start without magic, start without a pretty amazing spell, a decent weapon. Let's see what I can do with this. You get a battle axe. It's pretty good, as you can see it there. But, I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. I mean, being able to cast magic and being at least be able to tank some damage, be able to do some damage itself, actually pretty handy. Ah, I hate this guy. Okay. I probably shouldn't be fighting this guy right now. He's pretty tough. But. See what I mean? But. Another viable option is, uh. That's weak. Ooh, okay. Back up. Back up, back up. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah, I'm dead. Ugh, <sighs> sucks. They're all about this guy. I didn't mean to run into him this, in this right now. Uh... Give me his eye frames. Yeah, we got owned. Oh, this guy shouldn't walk this way. <laughs> it's not demonstrating the OPness of uh, the build. I was just saying, uh, the build, you have magic, 
They're decently tanky. Uh, you have health. You're basically overall good. Overall, you're a well, good player. Good class. I don't know how you'd say it. But, I don't know. You must be a knight. A knight and a warrior is actually two viable options as well. What's your ability with this thing? Oh, there's also abilities with weapons now. So you two handed weapon, hit the left trigger, and do ability with it. It's some boosted damage, I'm not sure it did. Uh, what's up there? Yeah, the knight's a good option though too. I mean, I would be playing as a knight, but it's a little too easy. And there also there's no spells. I like being able to cast stuff, so meh. <laughs> it's personal preference. I like being able to cheese enemies too. I'll show you what I mean later on in the game. But, okay. There's gonna be a video bar on all my videos, so you can look click on it. See what section you want to see. Okay, I'll kill him too. Uh, I should be out in this corner. So do this. I'm gonna play in serious in the tutorial. I'll start playing serious. Ooh, okay. Heard you take it up on by and react. So I find serious when we get to the boss, and after that, I'll play a little bit more serious. Right now, I'm just messing around. Let's heal real quick. Can't believe I missed that. I am actually going back for the item as a Titanite Shard. This is rather important. Yeah, Titanite Shard to be in the game is always helpful. <sighs> if you want to be OP in the game, be a Knight, be a Pyromancer. They're pre both viable classes, but I honestly think this class is better just because it has fire. I'm gonna use this little thing right there. Let's do this real quick. I'm gonna be skipping all cinematics in this playthrough. There we go. Uh, restores my MP or SP to call it. Just like Final Fantasy games and stuff where it's MP. Not great. It sucks. That's where the bow is hard. Harder, I mean. Uh, We're actually gonna start, try, start trying a little bit. Uh, roll the strategy in this battle, just roll and keep the distance to their fireballs. There we go. You yeah, victory heal. So that's that battle. It's pretty simple. We'll light this real quick. We'll heal. 
Uh, the Ember form on this game is just like a human form, basically, but your health is boosted up. So. We're gonna get to Firelink Shrine real quick and I'll end the video there. I'm gonna try to keep these under hmm, maybe 20 minutes. The game's pretty fun overall. Uh, it is harder in the beginning. Of course, of course, if you're a sorcerer, it's really, really hard. Uh, my sorcery ability almost raged in the beginning of the game. I'll show you the enemy I almost raged one. When we get there. Double kill. Let's run over here real quick. There's one item over here I need. That's pretty important. Uh, let me go over here. There's actually a lot of items in the tutorial area. I'm just too lazy and don't really care about them. But Firelink Shrine. Whoopee. We'll do this real quick. Look at the cinematic. Boom. Fire sword in there. This is where we got from the boss, by the way. Let's That's what we got from the boss. Let's just light bonfires now. So we'll pick up here in the next video. I'm Marshall and I. I am out. Peace.